So yeah, I've been going through this for a while now, and, I, and I'm just trying to like expose it, right? Because like it's been happening for the longest time. They I don't know. They find they hack my device. They have all kind of tricks. Like the keyboard doesn't even work when you're trying to put in a comment, right? I'll press this guy, right? They let me write now. Mm, change something. Change this guy. All right. I'm trying to interact, but they see the knowledge that I have to input into the matrix is changing the whole matrix. The reason why I'm doing this because it's about me, right? We are, I am part of this lost tribe of Israel. Me, I'm, I'm a different kind of nigga. So the whole world has to change, bro. And you got to tell the truth. You can't be lying, you know? And I'm here trying to talk to the people and everything, and they, they hacking the device, making it hard for me. Right, so now I'm recording what I'm doing. As you can see right here, read this, what I'm saying. I'm teaching them about why the Jewish people are in the land. I'm also telling them, like, being racist to black people is actually real anti-Semitism, right? I got this here and the scripture because I'm trying to show you. I told them, like, yo, God put those people in the land to make the real Israelite jealous. First, he split Israel into two groups, the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of Judah. Disperse the kingdom of Israel, disperse the, in the kingdom of uh, Judah, spread them all over the earth. While this is happening, God put a race in the land. This is what this is about. Kim Iverson had a YouTube video. The world's just figuring figuring this stuff out. We figured this stuff out before 2019 when the pandemic hit. We already figured all this out, right? If you have here, this is the very page, the very page of the Bible has been, been explaining to you. And I don't want people to to hate on no Jewish people. Don't hate the Jewish people, bro. You gotta understand, like Jewish people and Black people actually gotta work it out. We gotta work it out. We gotta do. We got to worship God together. The Jewish people got to allow the black people to worship Yahweh the way Yahweh want them to and let them have their authority. We don't have to join you your religion that you have, right? We don't even have to learn Hebrew again. None of that, you know? We we need to start making some things and stuff like that, Try getting more organized, you know? But we don't need to be fighting with Jewish people, and Jewish people don't be, need to fight with black people. We're, we're under the same under the same God, bro. Realize that. So God kicked the, the the black Jews out, spread them all around the world because they disrespect God. They made God jealous. So God put the white Jews in the land there to make them jealous. This is what this is about. So God put those people in the land there. This is Luke right here. He says. New International Version, it says, a Mongol people will occupy Ashdod, right? Right now what's happening, the pride of the, the Philistines is being chopped off. That's their pride that's being chopped down. It's been, this is it. No more Philistines. That's, listen, God is using the foreigners that will occupy the city of Ashdod, bro. That's living in Jerusalem right now. These people who living in Jerusalem right now, they're the ones that's supposed to cut down the Philistine. This is why God said, yo, bro, anybody who troubled himself with Jerusalem will be broken to pieces. That's why I don't trouble myself with Jewish people or Jerusalem. I just try to do what Yah say to do. Read the scriptures, read Leviticus, the commandments, and how to eat, how to dress, and how to treat my fellow people on the planet because the bible did say moses god told moses bro any strangers among you want to worship yahweh can do so the same way the israel worship yahweh so they are allowed to worship yahweh they are allowed to do everything strangers god doesn't withhold his hand hands from strangers in kindness and love and allowing them to worship him. God just chose the Israelite as his chosen people. Right? And he specifically told them this. Like they're not to any stranger that, that's traveling with them. Leave with amongst them. That one who 
worship Yahweh, they are allowed to do so. So, my point is, they they worshiping Yahweh. A lot of people say they ain't got the truth. I don't care. You know, I don't know everything. Okay, but they worshiping one some form of Yahweh. Okay, and um. Anyways, um, they took up the religion of the Jews. They didn't take up the religion of Jesus Christ, the black Jesus I'm talking about, right? So they took up the ancient religion, which which needed to be, which need which had to do, which had an alteration. What was the alteration? The actual lamb came and died for the sins of the people, so they did not need to make no more lamb sacrifices. They didn't need to sacrifice any more lambs for sin offerings, because the the true lamb, Black Jesus, came and he died for for them. You see that? So he told them in a room. He told it to his disciples because not all of them know. Only his disciples knew. He said, take this and break and eat in remembrance of me. He said, this, this do in remembrance of me. Take the bread and eat in remembrance of his body that was given for them. And his blood that was spilled, the, the wine for his blood that was spilled for them. So that's why the Christians do the sacrament instead of it's called a sacrament instead of calling a sacrifice because sacrifice already happened right now this is the this is the reality of of the truth the jesus he's rejected by his own people he's the god's people rejected him god's own people rejected him they rejected his son god scattered them and put a other people there right and I read the scripture carefully he says well I'm not gonna tell you I'm just gonna cut it here and just do a little reading over here for you see a mixed people shall dwell in Ashdod a mixed race shall occupy Ashdod they have got different different version but everybody know the truth and they're just trying to hide it and I like the King James version because they say it best a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod which means your father has a wife and he has a bastard child with a other woman outside. So that 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 son outside is your brother. He's just not your brother with your mother. You get it? So black people and the Jewish people are brothers because God is our father. You get it now? I'm trying to trying to help them because they trying to fight and I see it coming. And I don't want them to drag me into no bullshit because I ain't fighting on no side. Anyways, you say a mixed race shall settle in Ashdod. And a people of mixed origins will live in Ashdod. And a mongrel race, this is the more disrespectful term, right? And a mongrel race here again. And this is a really nice term here, the Legacy Standard Bible. And those of illegitimate birth will inhabit Ashdod. What 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 that is actually saying is more closer to the truth. They just not birthed it under the covenant, but they are converted to the religion. So they're not the blood covenant, but they have but they have the religion. Right? So it is what it is. And I I already said it, God put them there to make the original Jews jealous for making him jealous. By worshiping pagan gods, other 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 people's god, right? And they started doing this when they when they chose their first king. All the other nation had a king, and they had judges, and God was the king. And they was like, "Oh, we want a king like the rest of the nations." And God said to the prophet, "Today they have rejected me." And God gave them a bad king, Saul, and then God gave them a good king, David. And after David, all hell broke loose. Like Saul. Solomon reign was the last. After Solomon, it's just like stricken down. Anyways, let's read some more. He says, And a mongrel race, and a mongrel race, and a mongrel race, and a bastard shall dwell, and a, and a foreigner shall dwell, and foreigners shall dwell in Ashdod. 
an alien shall dwell in Azotus. So Ashdod is also known as Azotus. So don't forget these people are hiding a lot of things here. A mob of half breeds will settle in Ashdod. Let me tell you, I notice a lot of these people, bro. They're mixed, mixed, mixed European races, but not just that. They have, they actually, some of them actually got some of those black people blood. Like I seen some Jewish people that are mixed black people. A lot of them. I don't know. I'm talking when I go to my job, like trying to get a job. Right? Let's say, and the divider shall sit in Azotus. Did I just read that? No. Did I read that? It was similar to it there. But Azotus is another name for Ashdod, and there's a reason why. Don't let them fool you. Right? A mixed race will live in Ashdod. People of mixed race will live in Ashdod. A strange people will inhabit Ashdod, and I will eliminate the arrogance of Palestine. So I want you to know, you see it happening, we see it right in front of our eye because we're part of this prophecy. We're living prophecy today, right? If, if God was taking these prophets from the past and bringing them into the future and showing them what was going on, we are literally watching some of these prophets in the sky shining as angels and we, we don't know what we see, but we see in the past and the future, bro. That's what I think. I think like God brings some of the prophets from the past into the future to show them things. And they, these people are actually popped up while some of us are walking around and stuff. And we, we don't even know what we're looking at. Like we're looking at people that that existed thousands of years shining in the sky and stuff as prophets. Like To be a prophet was a great. But just imagine his, his own people don't know how great. His work is, because I imagine if God took a prophet from the past, like he has done in Revelation, and showed them the future and the wars and the battles in the future, and that person have actually stand in the presence of the future, like stand in the actual future, and looked around at the actual people that's living in the future. No, I'm telling you something. That's the past in the future, right? That's the past in the future. The demon, the devil does act up in my dog. I got a dog here. It's an unclean animal, right? And you can't eat them. But like, yo, the, I realize the devil is rising up. Let's get back to the story. And a foreigner has dwelled in Ashdod. Make sure miss, <clears throat> excuse me, mixed race will occupy. Excuse me. Well, I want to put it on YouTube. But and dwelled had a far. And dwelt hath a foreigner in Ashdod, and I have cut out the excellency of Palestine. What the hell is that? Yes, yeah, some of them don't make any sense. This is the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet about the Philistines before Pharaoh struck down Gaza. I will cut off the ruler of Ashdod and the one who will. Sorry. Well, anyways, that's getting off topic. So, um, I'm just going to stop the video. But this video was ultimately to show you what they do to me. Anytime I'm trying to interact with the people. So instead of like actually interact, I just made a video. No, I put it on YouTube. You know, but I'm still going to. I had to say one more thing. I had to add something in there. I'm trying to tell them like, yo, just don't be racist to the Jewish people. Don't. Stop attacking the Jewish people. Leave them alone. We all know, like, no one's supposed to be in that land but the Jewish Hebrew people. No one else. No other religion. Okay? Like, obviously, Christianity don't belong there either. But a form of Christianity does belong there. Right? So, what I'm trying to say is, the sacrament does belong there, which represent the remembrance of the body and the blood of black Jesus, right? That sacrament belongs in Jerusalem. No, everything else that don't belong in Jerusalem is all the lies, the, Christ, the Christian lies. A lot of other religions have lies too. I'm not focused on that. I'm talking about 
in the Christianity, they got too much lies. No, they're being corrupted over time. And it's pure corruption, slavery. You need to cut that stuff out. Actually, be Christians. Go to a Christian church, eh? You guys aren't serious, bro. You ain't trying to be Christian. We're supposed to be Christian, build family, make money, get food, and help one another. And what you guys doing? Arguing and bickering and fighting about who's more cute than who and who's that, blah, blah, blah. You think I ain't watching? I'm, I'm real. I'm trying to be down with God. Because I'm a sinner. I'm trying to cut those ways out. But I realize, yo, you guys aren't even friendly. You ain't making friends with good people. You ain't trying to make a better world. Okay? So don't talk to me about no Christianity. I'm talking about the sacrament that belongs there. No church belongs. The sacrament belongs in Jerusalem. And God put the Jewish people there. I don't know. I wouldn't mess with them until God himself come back. I would try to make peace with them until I'm like, yo, yeah, we're the original kingdom of Judah people. We're Israelite by blood, not by religion, per se. And like, yo, we would need to like have some like um, communication with you guys. Like we can be like allies and friends and stuff like, but we have our own way of doing our religion. In our religion, we would we would like to do all the other things, that, but we wouldn't like to sacrifice any animal. We would actually just want to take a sacrament. We want to follow the, the feast days. We want to follow the the um, the new year. Everything, you know, the the good things like learn learn Hebrew history and traditions and stuff, but. The ones that we don't need to do, we don't want to do. Like, for instance, we don't need to sacrifice a lamb for sin because black Jesus already been sacrificed. So they need to get right with himself and take the sacrament in remembrance of his blood and his body that was given for them. I need to have hope and just you know we can we can like um sin is not it's not what people think it is people who have problems with sin need love from the people who have strength you know there's nothing good about having like a computer that have problems like you have a computer and he has an error it's breaking down while you're trying to use our car. Same thing that happens to people when the sin happens. It's just, they're falling apart. They need help. And some people want to be helped, some people don't. So, anyways, I'm trying to add right here in this conversation, like right here, just like right here. Just like, I didn't try to comment, right? I'm just trying to add, edit that. Edit? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep writing. Keep writing. Keep writing, keep writing, keep writing. Let's try this button. Oh, man. So I didn't say, um, let's just say it here. So keep writing, keep writing. Keep this guy okay. This guy okay. Because I keep writing, that's all. Let's see.
I just had to add that in there. Oh man, it failed. So there go. Copy that. Press this button there. Oh man, it failed. What do you guys think I gotta do to get them to stop doing stuff like that? Too? And turn off the internet and turn it back on. Press it one time. Let it do that, let it do that, let it do that, let it do that. Click it on halfway in there. And then click in. Grab that. Grab that. that. Mm -mm. This mess is no good. Already, already. Already. Mm. Yeah. Alright, you guys see what I'm trying to show you in there. So, there we have it, okay? Video finished. How long is this video? 21 minutes. Damn, boy.